we begin today with the fourth station of the cross. Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To what can I liken you? To what can I compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What likeness can I use to comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. A sword will pierce your own soul also, and fill your heart with bitter pain. Let us pray. O God, you willed that in the passion of your Son a sword of grief should pierce the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother. Mercifully grant that your church, having shared with her in his passion, may be made worthy to share in the joys of his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The fifth station, the cross is laid on Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, who was coming in from the country and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served but to serve, Bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage they may minister in his name to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy. For the love of him who laid down his life for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The sixth station, a woman wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We have seen him without beauty or majesty, with no looks to attract our eyes. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. His appearance was so marred beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of the children of men. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are healed." Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed in his, into his likeness from glory to glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Join me tomorrow for the next three stations of the Way of the Cross.